Hi, so today's um, demo and review will be on the Nibelin um, Volume Express, the Colossal Cat Eyes. I already have the Colossal Smoky Eyes, the Bump Top Colossal, and now I have the Colossal um, Cat Eyes. And it says um, Glam Black, the Colossal Smoky Eyes New, uh, Instant Volume. No clumps with collagen, curved brush, full and spike it at the corners. But uh, in French it says amplify and stretches. So it says uh, now colossal volume get a feeling edge. Our collagen formula and claw brush plump and spike out lashes at the corner for a while. I look no clumps. Sweep the brush, blah, blah 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 blah. Do not let dry between curls, I never do. So, um, let's get now started with the demo. So my thoughts about um, this mascara is sort of, um, I like it but I want to repurchase it and it's not a favorite. Um, I mean, it says um, instant volume but I feel like it took like four coats to get um, this look. So like one coat on bottom and three or four coats on top, anyway, so I don't feel like it's really um, Instant, and uh, what it says else, no clumps. Well, depend your lashes can tend to stick together, but uh, it's not a real um, clumping issue that is like major. Like, you can get with the falsies when you just open it. So, I'm going to show you the claw shaped brush. So, the brush looks like this, like it's, it's 
more like deeper here, it, it's not the same curve. And what I thought when I saw this is the, um, another Maybelline mascara, is the Maybelline Lash um, Stiletto. Because both have a skinny one, but um, has a curve to it. So, the reason why I don't feel like this gives a lot of volume is that compared to other mascaras like the um, Bump Up Colossal, just, the brush is not um, huge. So, this one, while this one holds a lot of product, this one can't because it's so um, small. So, it does great length, but I've seen better. And their stretching at the end sort of thing is not really possible because it's like with the L'Oreal Butterfly, the Falsies, Flared, and the... What are their super great mascara I have for this? Anyway, yeah. mascara that claims to do this, but it's okay on this eye because it shapes. But if you go like this, like you see there, this side is more extended than this side and it doesn't work. You can do this but I'm not a big fan of doing this. Um, <laughs> that just me another example of mascara is the Lancome Hip Nose and the um, Red Lash. Um, lots of lashes. Um, it says with collagen but I don't feel like it's as good as the um, real collagen mascara. This one contains collagen and they have so much incredible um, volume more than the more than this one. So I would recommend if if you like the effect on my lashes, um, I will continue to use it on like videos or stuff like that. But I feel like it's more of a nice bottom lash mascara instead of a just a mascara. I mean. You can buy it because it's. I bought it because it's cute and uh, I shouldn't. So, as, as you see in my video, I often buy stuff because oh, it's cute. It has flame on the packaging. It's a. Uh, well, it looks manga. It looks. Cat. Alright, so. It looks like a fire. It's really the, the same packaging, really. It's just. So if you want, tell me down below um, which mascara you want to see next. Uh, so sorry for. So uh, thanks a lot for uh, watching and uh, hope my next video. Oh, and by the way, the formula on this is sort of wet, but not dripping wet. Like it's more um, of a creamy like formula.